Hello guys, today we're going to build a reservoir or complete this one. The reservoirs are great for having multiple buckets, multiple net pot rails, uh, just feeding multiple uh, plants with one reservoir saves you on air pumps, water pumps, and larger reservoirs are easier to maintain for temperature and nutrient levels as well as pH. This one here, this is a uh, tough box, I believe it's called, storage box. Buy it at Lowe's for $14. It's very popular in the hydroponic world for building your own reservoir. It's sturdy, listed at 27 gallons, but I mark it off for 15 and 20 gallons. That way I have drop-off room for returning uh, nutrients from the system. Let's go ahead and show you what we've done so far to the inside. First off, here is our return line. It is simply a three-quarter inch slip to threaded uh, PVC fitting. And the other side is a barb to male uh, three-quarter inch fitting. Um, I've only been able to find that at Lowe's, uh, not Home Depot. So you may have to look around for those. And then I have a uh, O-ring in there to prevent leaks, but in return we really don't have to worry too much about leaks. Um, a tube from your system just connects here and the water will just fall out. Next we have our supply side. Again, I just have some PVC fittings, uh, thread to slip, uh, and a thread to slip female on this side with a barb to male attachment, and on the outside a barb to female, and again an O-ring. This is actually a three-quarter inch hole, and over here this was a one-inch hole. Get that all nice and tight, and same thing here. Then we have our water pump. This is an Evo 633, quite a large pump, and I'm going to hopefully be, um, like I said, doing seven buckets with four spurs in each bucket. I like to go overkill if I have to, and not have to worry about it later, but um, depending on your system, you can get away with smaller pumps. You're just going to take the half inch fitting that comes with the pump and get it on there nice and tight. And then next, you're going to take a half inch piece of flexible tubing, rubber tubing there. Get it on your pump and then fit it on. the other side here. I'm just going to loosely fit it now. And I might trim it up a little bit later. You might have to stick a little clamp, O-ring clamp on this side. I had one reservoir that I kept on popping off because of the pressure and then I'd lose a lot, I'd lose a lot coming out. Last thing we're going to, or not the last thing, but the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to notch out a little hole here, just take the an edge of a drill bit and just notch out a little hole for your core to pass out. And also you want to drill a hole here with a quarter inch inside diameter grommet. Then we're going to pass our air tube in here for our air stone that will uh, oxygenate our reservoir. That is pretty it. much it. The reservoirs are pretty easy to build and um, what I'll do when I take it outside is I have a calibrated five gallon bucket and I'll mark off as I fill it up in five gallon increments for future reference on um, topping off and to uh, mix the right amount of nutrients in there. So that is it. Quick and easy video. This will be going out today and getting filled for the uh, bucket system, which I'll show you another time. That's it for now. Well, later.